but no glory, no advancement. What if you know the glory? Then you will know advancement. Can you hear this? The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Now listen, the Holy Ghost said to me to begin to call people the remnant. So listen, remnant. Psalms 112 verse 3 says, Wealth and what? Riches. riches. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Wealth and riches shall be. Is this true? Mm -hmm. Is this a scripture? Yes. You have a problem with it? No. Tacit agreement with this verse of scripture, meaning just mentally agreeing with it isn't going to get you anywhere you must say the word of god and hereby saying the word of god you enter into a binding contract shall be wealth and riches shall be this then presents to you a new model of life this is not what most people were doing before they've not entered into this place this binding contract with a living god are you ready for this glorified men walk in glory does that make sense yeah. natural men walk in the anointing and gifts of the spirit now, I know a lot of people are going to have a problem with it. Glorified men walk in glory. Natural men walk in the anointing and gifts of the Spirit. Say, natural men, natural men. Walk, in the anointing walk in the anointing and the gifts of the Spirit. And the gifts of the Spirit. We've had the, the anointing and the gifts of the Spirit go all the way back into the Old Testament. Well, none of them were even born again. They walked in different levels of the anointing and the gifts of the spirit yeah. as natural men mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. but we are transitioning into glory mm -hmm. say it we, we. Are, transitioning are transitioning into glory. into glory it's different if you don't think it's different you don't know what you're talking about it's not the gifts of the spirit it's not the anointing this message is not to uh, denigrate or talk down about the gifts of the spirit or the anointing yeah. i preach on these things but the glory is different mm -hmm. say the glory, the glory is different. different we are transitioning to glory haggai chapter 2 verse 9 the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former saith the lord of hosts and the lord of hosts can be translated the lord of spirits i hope you know that by now and in this place i the lord of spirits will give peace also translated prosperity saith the lord of hosts or the lord of spirits he says the glory of this latter house he did not say the anointing of this latter house will be greater than the former did he say that no. if that's what he meant that's what he is would have said but in this place of glory i will give peace i will give prosperity i will give it i saith the lord of hosts the lord of spirits will give it in this place glory am i making my point mm -hmm. or am i annoying no. there's a fine line the holy ghost himself is not an anointing say the holy ghost, the holy ghost is, not is not an anointing, anointing. 
and 90 percent of the body of christ when they're talking about the holy ghost and they're talking about the anointing they're talking about the same thing in their mind they can't go where we're going if that's if that's what they're maintaining mm -hmm. the holy ghost is not an anointing and his glory is not an anointing and preachers who talk this way that the holy ghost and the anointing are just one in the same you can hear it in the way they talk about him they may increase in the anointing but it will never get them here and it will never get them to where we are going say where we are going, we are going. but the holy ghost as the anointing is standard thinking in the body of christ you realize this right mm -hmm. but knowing the holy ghost and experiencing his glory is the new reality that we are called to live in but there is no glory without worshiping him there is no glory without worshiping him and what do i mean by worship do i mean the song portion of the service no i mean you opening up your mouth and saying i worship you holy ghost i worship you holy ghost so question you have to answer certain things to get to where we're going does the holy ghost have glory is there a glory of the holy ghost yes we know he has yes. gifts we know he has anointings mm -hmm. we know that but that's not him those are things he has those are things he gives right first corinthians chapter 12 and here we find the gifts of the spirit first corinthians chapter 12 and verse 8 says for to one is given by the spirit the word of wisdom to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit to another working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another diverse kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues and all of those except for the tongues and interpretation of tongues can be found replete through the old testament and none of those men were born again do you understand mm -hmm. yeah so we know that the holy ghost does give gifts and anointings but he is not a gift it's a gift of the spirit mm -hmm. it's an anointing of the spirit jesus says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me he anointed jesus he anointed the prophets of old where they had words of wisdom and words of knowledge does this make sense yes this is basic but does the holy ghost have glory we know he has the gifts of the spirit we just read that he is glorious he is glorious say he is, he is. Glorious. glorious in fact we're changed by knowing him this way we're changed by seeing him this way and if the church never sees him this way they'll never be changed if they're not changed what are they they're the same or going backwards second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the lord is that spirit what spirit the holy ghost now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty or where the spirit lord is there is liberty verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the lord did it say we behold as in a glass the anointing of the lord no. we behold in as, as in a glass the gifts of the spirit of the lord no so this is different say this is different. this is different we behold the glory of the lord and are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the lord so how are we changed by beholding, by beholding him and his glory yes. if we don't behold him the spirit lord and his glory we're not changed and if we're seeking change to go from one glory to the next that's where it's at so does the holy ghost have glory he must have glory 
if we're supposed to behold his glory and be changed by it do you suppose this is important you go in most places this this isn't even a thing well how are they to be changed most churches are unwilling to go here transition to glory how can they transition from one glory to the next glory if they don't behold him the spirit lord the holy ghost and his glory you can't all right so when i say transition to glory that's what i'm talking about you have to transition from wherever you were before to here and wherever you were before wasn't here was it mm -mm. i wasn't there before how do you get there by beholding him and his glory mm -hmm. not by you know partaking of his anointing or partaking of the gifts of the spirit i believe in the anointing i believe in the gifts of the spirit but that's not what gets you here and the only way listen the only way you can enter into his glory is by worshiping him for who he is and that is god in the earth today many will continue to develop in the anointings and in the gifts of the spirit is this true yeah can they do that of course mm -hmm. and do mm -hmm. many will continue to develop in the anointings of various sorts and there are many and think that they are going in the right direction all the while not going on how could this be it be one of the main reasons is because they attach the holy ghost and the anointing to be one thing mm -hmm. or the holy ghost and the gifts of the spirit a gift of the spirit will happen and they'll go that's the holy ghost and i know somebody is anointed and they go that's the holy ghost that's not the holy ghost so many will continue to develop in these anointings and think they are going in the right direction because they're following the anointing and they're following the gifts of the spirit all the while not going on not being changed not being transitioned by beholding the glory of the lord there are certain things that are locked to the non-worshipper learn to use the words i worship you holy ghost and it will open a door to you that you never even knew existed and on the other side of that door you will begin to behold him and his glory can you imagine that the holy ghost might hold back his glory from certain people yeah. even though they might have an anointing even though they might be exposed to a gift of the spirit yeah. yes but his glory is another situation you have to worship him we are called unto glory say i am called, I am, I am called. unto glory. glory not the anointing do you know you're called to glory do you know this yeah. you are called to glory you are not called to the anointing i'm called to the anointing no you're not that doesn't even make sense yet most preachers have simply gone after the anointing can you see this do you know this to be true i know it to be true because i'm one of them mm -hmm. that's been the standard constant pursuit of a greater anointing greater gifts of the spirit are you here mm -hmm. you think i was preaching heresy this is just a fact and then we are in somehow competition with one another as preachers comparing one another to the others myself to another he's got a stronger anointing i've got a stronger anointing i've got the gifts of the spirit does this make sense have you seen this mm. have you been you know living in a shack somewhere or you have not noticed but preachers and they're the ones leading the body of christ have been in hot pursuit of the anointing and the gifts of the spirit but we're not called to the anointing we're not called to the gifts of the spirit we're called 
to glory oh you're so anointed so what I'm telling you you know you get you get exposed to the Holy Ghost in this room of worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and the other things seem just not enough anymore because his glory supersedes everything makes everything everything look like it's in flat world just two-dimensional anymore can you see what I'm saying preachers are in pursuit of the you know you know that right I knew that I was I was a preacher I came up in this and we'd sort of rank each other by the anointings that were on the person and we we'd follow this man because he had such a great anointing on him and I wanted that anointing and some of that anointing would get on you and the gifts of the spirit you'd start moving in those gifts of the spirit that's how we ranked ourselves second mm -hmm. Kings and this is uh, talking about Elijah and Elisha mm -hmm. when Elijah was gonna go up by a whirlwind into heaven mm -hmm. right and Elisha wanted to take over Elijah's ministry and and do what he saw Elijah doing right mm -hmm. so second Kings chapter 2 and then look at verse 9 and it came to pass when they were gone over the river that Elijah said unto Elisha ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee and Elisha said I pray thee let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me what was he seeking a double portion of the anointing yeah. or the gifts of the Spirit that were on Elijah he wanted a double portion he wanted twice as much mm -hmm. am I wrong no. you would consider him going into the ministry and had a, in fact you can go and you can you can uh, calculate all the miracles that happened in Elijah's ministry was exactly twice as many as mm -hmm. happened in Elijah's ministry mm -hmm. are you here yeah. give me a double portion yet Elijah are you still here Elijah got caught up in the glory and left the anointing behind mm. you, th you suppose Elijah would come back for a triple portion of the anointing no he got caught up he got caught up in the glory and literally left the anointing behind mm -hmm. you're twisting the scriptures no you're not reading the scriptures later Elijah the same Elijah showed up on the Mount of Transfiguration in the New Testament appearing to Jesus and talking with him mm -hmm. in glory he gave up the anointing and the gifts to move to the glory where do you, what are you called to do the amount of transfigurate the word transfiguration is metamorphosis we get our English word metamorphosis from it it's the same word where it says we're changed from one glory to another by beholding the Spirit Lord same word we are changed and transformed by beholding his glory and we go from glory to glory even as by the Spirit Lord is this fun yet no glory no advancement well I can have a stronger anointing well good for you I can have another gift of the Spirit well good for you I'm happy for you but no glory no advancement no glory no advancement what if you know the glory then you will know advancement can you hear this mm -hmm. in this transition to glory there will be some turbulence mm -hmm. you know like when you're on an airplane and he says uh, everybody back to your seats there's gonna be some turbulence ahead Maybe some shaking I don't think anybody's gonna fall out of the plane but maybe you don't know <laughs> guess it's how bad the turbulence is yeah. but when you're transitioning I like to think when you know an airplane I think in airplane things they so you're going in an airplane you start to cross the sound barrier it begins to shake violently because you're passing from one to the next 
and then once you get over to the other side it smooths out so they say hey, I've never flown that fast <laughs> but I believe them mm -hmm. I do know that as a pilot there sometimes there's pilot initiated turbulence there might be some turbulence but if you overcorrect you get too much on the controls you just add to it mm -hmm. so you need to be calm while you're going through it it's glory or bust say it's glory, it's glory or, bust. or bust we've had the anointing the anointing won't get us there we've had the gifts of the spirit the gifts of the spirit won't get us there it's glory or bust are you here we can see that that's how we're changed from one thing to the next we're called to go to glory you can't get to glory unless you behold him the Spirit Lord the Holy Ghost and his glory say his glory, his his glory. that's different Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 14 for the earth shall be say shall be, shall be. you remember how we began this message mm -hmm. it shall be for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord what Lord must this be in the earth there's only one God in the earth today what knowledge of what God of the glory of that God shall it be the glory of the Lord of spirits the Holy Ghost right for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea and I like looking up things in other translation Young's literal translation says the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the bottom of the sea mm. that made a lot more sense to me because as the waters cover the sea you're like uh, the sea is water how does the water cover the this makes no sense <laughs> it's as it, as the waters cover the bottom of the sea right how much how well does the water cover the bottom of the sea <laughs> completely. completely there's the, you can't even move down there mm -hmm. it'll crush you well the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the anointing and the gifts of the spirit is that what it said you would think that's what it said if you listened to what most preachers are actually doing not necessarily saying but doing because mm -hmm. they're in pursuit of the anointing mm -hmm. the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the anointing of the various preachers as they do their thing no. and compete with one another the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord now the Lord is that spirit remember we read that now the Lord is that spirit mm -hmm. the spirit Lord the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the spirit Lord am I getting my point across mm -hmm. how many people have knowledge of the glory of the Holy Ghost few Few, if I ask the simple question, does the Holy Ghost have glory? People might give some type of tacit mental understanding to it, but they don't go there. If they don't go there, they don't behold this, they cannot be changed and actually go there. Mm -hmm. The earth shall be fit. Is this in your Bible? I mean, we've heard it quoted before, we've heard anointed preachers quote it before the earth shall be say shall be. shall be the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the bottom of the sea so you could say has that person encountered the knowledge of the glory of the Lord any person you see you first have to ask yourself have I encountered the knowledge of the glory of the Lord to the degree that I'm being changed by it I hope you can hear this Haggai chapter 2 verse 6 says for thus says the Lord of hosts the Lord of spirits who are we talking about the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. 
for thus says the Lord of hosts yet once it is a little while and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land and I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with my anointing glory, glory. I will fill this house with glory says the Lord of hosts mm -hmm. the silver is mine the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts remember the scripture we read mm -hmm. wealth and riches shall be in your house in his house verse 9 the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former saith the Lord of hosts and in this place of glory I will give peace and prosperity saith the Lord of hosts the Lord of spirits can you see where we're supposed to be going mm -hmm. and how we are changed by beholding him and his glory because in this place beholding him we are changed from glory to another glory from one thing that we weren't to something that we are to be and the glory takes it all it covers it all you ever go someplace and and somebody says I got this I'll cover it all mm -hmm. the glory covers it all mm -hmm. not a gift of the Spirit not this gift not that gift that's just a piecemeal provision of one thing or another an anointing for this or an anointing for that are you here mm -hmm. the glory of the Lord covers it all and when you learn to behold him the Spirit Lord the Holy Ghost he will change the way you think he will change the way and your capacity to hear what the Spirit is saying to you and you shall go forward and not be left behind like others who've refused to go to this new place this new way of worshiping the Holy Ghost and walking with him in his glory speaking in agreement with his word we thank you Holy Ghost for it for blessing these people in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you are the Spirit Lord I walk with you in the earth fulfilling your will walking in your word and your glory begins to manifest on me in me and even in my finances in Jesus name amen